You know, it's about this time I wish we had some country music we could play right now. Namely the song, All My Exes Live in Texas. Because Nora Petta seems to know something that we don't know at home. And I'm sorry, Nora, I had to call you on it. You got to explain what you were saying earlier. John Thomas, just a minute ago, I was speaking to two students and everyone got all out of control. I was talking about ex-students, alumni of the university, which is what we're celebrating this week. It's homecoming. I'm here with Delaney Slifka and Lizetti Lada. They are with the Campus Activities Board. Now, we're talking about the carnival. That is open to the public, right? Yes, ma'am. It's open to the public and all the community can come and the students. Okay, and what can we find there? So there's food, there's games, there's music, so just about everything. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not the only thing that's happening at the carnival, right, Lizetti? What else is going on? Right, we'll be announcing the, announcing the top five candidates for homecoming king and queen. Okay, so the public gets to participate in that and watch that. It's gonna be really, really exciting. Now, is there a charge to en enter, or, you know, like an entry fee for the carnival? No, there's no charge, it's free. You just walk right onto University Boulevard. Okay, so John Thomas, it's a great way for the public to participate in this very special homecoming. Um, you can see that the kids are so excited. The sun hasn't even come up yet, and these kids are full of energy and excitement, and it's a great opportunity for the public to come out and celebrate homecoming at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. John Thomas. Awesome. Nora, we love it. Thanks for uh, clarifying the X's. And